I figured I'd show pulling out the uh, butternut 67. Let's get a uh, slightly better angle at this. Trying to keep this uh, in the in the shot for you the whole time. Yeah, I had to cheat on that a little bit. By the way, the uh, car I hooked up to the front frame rails at the control arms, and the uh, chain split the rail in half. So. Uh, This one's, this one's pretty rusted. Somewhere in here, I'll uh, include a picture I found of this car 20 years ago when it wasn't as rusted. So uh, I want to unhook it, pull the wrecker up that direction, and hook up to the front of the car and pull it up through here to get it out of the, to get it out of the way. And it's still, it's still too close. All right. To all this. So uh, it took me a little bit to uh, get the truck turned around. I got stuck twice but it's hooked up and it'll probably break the chain that's right here, but it'll be on video if it does.
like I mentioned earlier, I plan on putting a uh, picture of this and what it looked like in about, uh, I don't know, about, about 1988 to just show you how much something can go down in 32 years. But uh, as you can see, the GTO hit it right here. That really looks a lot worse than it is because uh, that's patchable. And I don't mind uh, I don't mind having to do something like uh, cut open the cow and replace rust and straighten everything back. I don't mind doing that. But uh, I'm fixing this car. Random door. Uh, pair of fenders. Down in there. The... Uh, front seat black bench seat the front seat back got broken in the wreck there was uh three people in that car and it folded back So, uh, I wanted to show you that. Now, they're not perfect. You got to keep in mind, this car has sat on the ground since, uh, 1972. Rockers are still on it. One thing I wanted to uh, say on this is, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be, if, you know, if people even watch these videos, there's going to be a lot of people that uh, are going to ask yourself, possibly me, why would you go through the trouble of fixing this car when you already have one that's not been wrecked? Well, to me, it's real simple. To me, that answer is really simple. That was a super sport car. The other one was a Malibu. And to me, the other one make it, being a Malibu makes it okay to cut it up to fix this car. Even if I use, 
you know, even if I just use there and across the bottom of this car, I'm still fixing this car. Even if I end up having to replace part of this one because of wreck damage or rust. I'm still fixing this car. Even if I'm not able to use this door, I'm still fixing this car. And really, the way I'm wanting to do this, it doesn't add any cost to it. It just adds a little bit of time. So, This is a lot better documentation of what this car started out like than what I did for the 70. And if I had it to go back and do it again, I'd do the same thing that I did for with this car with the 70. I'd show it getting pulled out of the weeds. I'd show what it looks like. Because when this car does get finished, everybody that's watched the entire series of my videos will have seen it from start to finish. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Until next time, God bless. Bye.